good morning all so we are uh, solving now problem number 3 from the question bank video of engineering visualization so in this problem we have to construct a pentagonal prism and we have to have a through hole in it okay first i am going to construct the orthographic uh, top view of the pentagon because we know that for the polygon such as a triangle pentagon and hexagon we have to draw the orthographic first okay so i'm constructing a pentagon of dimension 30 mm okay now i'm constructing a box for it we know that using the box dimensions we can able to construct the iso isometric view of it so draw the box with respect to the extreme corner of the pentagons so like this you can construct the box for it now we can measure the dimensions of the box okay for uh, easier understanding i'll be giving the naming for this box such as one two three four so that it will be convenient for construction so we can mention one two three four for the box naming so draw an xy line so you, you now you draw an uh, reference line okay now using the box dimension we can construct uh, from one to two it is 46.17 and angle is 30 degree and uh, again length is 48.34 angle is 150 again length is 46.17 angle is 210 degree and then you can join so it is an uh, rectangle okay now we have to use arc by center command to cut the arcs here so from 1 to 2 we have 28.53 so go to arc by center in between 1 to 2 you can cut 28.53 radius okay, the same way from 4 to 3 also that is your uh, radius distance 28.53 you can cut the arc then between from 2 to 3 you have to cut 24.27 radius cut the arc in between 1 and 4 we have to cut 9.27 that is from 4 by taking reference at 4 cut the arc for 9.27 and same way from 1 you can cut 9.27 ok now go to continuous line now join by zooming in to the exact points construct the point pentagon with respect to the cut a dark point Okay, now vertical height I am going to give from this pentagon uh, corner points so the length I will give 50 so I will go to move command create a copy of it select the end points and place it with the exact extreme corners ok now construct another pentagon above it by joining these extreme points of the lines so pentagonal prism it is constructed now we have to construct a through hole here through hole means a hole will be in the shape of circle so when it is constructed in the isometric it will be seen as an ellipse here ok first I am drawing the perpendicular bisectors to get the exact midpoint ok so draw the 
perpendicular bisector from the corner point to the opposite point midpoint okay so here for constructing a ellipse i'm taking a length 30 angle will be 30 again length is 30 angle 150 and again length is 30 angle will be 210 so using four arc by center method i'm constructing the ellipse here go to arc by center and draw the cut the arcs to this lens so subscribe for the channel hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can benefit it from this so here draw the diagonals and take the exact center point using move command midpoint you can take and then place it exactly to the center point here i think for the top face center point not drawn properly i'm going to delete it and again i'm going to draw perpendicular bisectors now we have to join these two ellipses with their periphery yes you have to see, select that particular point and draw straight line vertically downward okay so this completes the problem so select this uh, final uh, completed isometric show the angle 30 degree for the angle of inclinations select the entire diagram go to scale command and uh, type 0.816 enter so this completes the problem so pentagonal prism with through hole